Welcome to BFR players. This is a bit a little bit of a different video, but you have a chance to be tuned in into it. So if you commented in any of my videos since the last major update, which was 2.5 with the whole revamp and map change, you have a chance to be featured here. So um, don't mind the background footage. I'm just doing random stuff and killing some people because I just needed random footage, all right? All right, first comment. We're going to be reading YouTube comments. The first up is C. Cather. Is there a possibility of a new race or new forms? Because I would love to have either. So yeah, there's going to be both new races and new forms. Uh, cats already confirmed this. The new race, from what I know, is Bile Android. And the new forms, well, it's kind of a given, right? It's the forms that aren't in the game yet. We're going in canon order. So the last thing released was Battle of Gods. So naturally, the next up is going to be the Golden Frieza arc, right? Next comment is from Zenitsu Gatsuma. Um, can you make a video of the Dragon Ball locations, please? So... The amount of times you all comment this is absolutely tremendous. <laughs> um, I would, but I can't. Why? Because I don't even know half of the locations yet. Um, if I know half of the locations or more, I will make a video on it. But as of right now, I don't know. I only know probably like around seven locations. It's not worth making. Heck, some of you guys even know more locations than I do. So uh, yeah, it probably won't be for a while. I don't actively look for Dragon Balls like I did back then. Um, next up, we got Dragon Wolf. Alright, does this game have plans to have console support in the future? Yes, sir. Yes, it does. So, console support will be added eventually. It's just not... It's not 100% confirmed, but Kat did talk about it, saying that they could, uh, they could kind of take a little bit from Xenoverse and kind of use that as a base. But console support probably won't be added until the game is basically complete. That's just me saying that. They didn't say... They didn't give a time zone or a date or none of that. They just said it is definitely possible and it's something worth looking into. So console support may or may not be added, but it won't be anytime soon. Next up, we got um, Diane Kosko. I suck at pronouncing. I'm sorry if I butcher it. I hope they make the game for uh, the game uh, mobile featured. So mobile support for all you waiting for mobile support of the game. I'm sorry, but it's not coming. It's it's already been said and done by the developers and the owner themselves. It's it's not going to be a thing. The amount of controls in this game, it'll make mobile too cluttered. It's just too much effort, too much work. And on top of it, it's just all in all, near on the impossible end from what they're capable of at this current moment in time. So sorry for you mobile players, but mobile isn't coming anytime soon. But console players, we have a chance still. Next up, we have a Titan. I'm just going to keep it at that. <laughs> Wait, so which quest is the best for farming dragon stones? The Beerus Raid boss on top of the world. Just so when Beerus is in cooldown mode, just do the quest up top where, where he's kind of lingering above the planet. What's your grind method, man? I want to get as strong as you. Kind of what I said in the last one. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to mention your name. Josh is Mewing Pro. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting name, bro. Yeah, my grind method. Actually, if you've seen the footage right now... um. Maybe I'll zoom in for you guys. My power level is, well, I hit a new milestone. I recently hit 2 billion. And uh, I didn't even choose the fastest method. I just grinded dragon stones. I know HTC is still one of the fastest ways, but I'm so bored of it. It's just, I'd rather take a slower method like dragon stones. I, I can multitask easier with dragon stones, so it's not as boring for me. You can look at my previous video what my power level is and how I gradually rise. It's no secret. Uh, I just rotate between various and what one of the quests up on top with him until he well basically he spawns in again it's it's not that deep it guys i can't specify this enough like my power level is here to kind of prove it right no matter how you kind of grind you're eventually going to hit that level it depends how dedicated you are no matter what method it is if you spend enough time on it you're going to reach your goal it just takes patience and discipline and man um I'm pretty sure like half of the community that plays this game has like a YouTube pop over their screen. So they're not completely bored. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, next up, we got Glorific Plays. Uh, can you provide combat PvP guide? So you see, I feel like a lot of people got the wrong impression in me. I mean, because I don't consider myself a pro PvPer, right? Uh, the way my, how my moveset is built, it's, it's cheesy. It's meant to make people mad. It's like specifically made to piss people off. Um, I mean, it's a cheesy way to win. It requires not too much skill on my part. 
I mean, if if were, if those were to be taken away from me, yeah, I could manage on my own. But I feel like I can't provide a PvP guide when I don't mainly use PvP myself. I cheese to win. The only way the only way people could beat me is either out cheese me, or their their skills are literally so up there that I just get absolutely rolled. <clears throat> Jern, uh, but yeah. Next up, we got Rodrigo. I'm just gonna call you Rodrigo, bro. <laughs> I used to play the game, but I got bugged, and I know I can't level up or level down or even progress. Wow. Um, do you know if there's a way to reset your character and the history of the character? I mean, like a brand new one. So basically, you want a data wipe. Is that what you want, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and capture some footage separately to all this and put it on screen right here. A lot of people don't know this. I should have put this on my mentor guide. I'm so sorry. But uh, right here at spawn at Nab's, Nam's village, you want to go ahead and fly up. And he's going to be on the mountain on the left side. I'm not going to talk to him because I'm so scared to talk to him. But uh, yeah, it says right there, like wipe data or whatever. Yeah, right here is where you could completely just start off fresh if you ever want to. Do you get anything from this? I don't think so. You don't get anything of it. It's not a prestige system. It's legit a hard reset if you just want to start from the beginning again. And this character scares me. <laughs> well, hopefully that helped you. All right, next up, we got, can you please stream again? Damn, it's been a while since I streamed, huh? Um, I was, I, I stream sometimes when I'm bored. Some here, sometimes here on YouTube. Eh, maybe Twitch. But uh, I may or may not stream again. It's just Sparkling Zeros around the corner. Um, I was thinking of posting content about it, but um, the thing is I recently had to refund my pre-order on Steam because all my friends are in PlayStation. And I recently found out it's not cross-play, so... I legit had to recently buy a PlayStation. I never owned a PlayStation in my entire life. Um, just to play with all my other friends. And unfortunately, I don't know how I'm going to be able to record on PlayStation unless they have something built in. Because I don't have my graphics card from way back in the day. So, unfortunately, I probably or may not may not post content on that. But I do stream other things other than DBFR too, if you guys are ever interested. Here on YouTube or on my Twitch. Um, next up, we got Trek. Cluck. Uh, hey Sleepy, uh, what's your DBFR outfit? It looks great and I want to use it specifically this scarf. So yeah, a lot of you guys actually comment this and ask this. And this is a huge thanks to Bullet. I don't, he's not the one that pioneered it, but he's the one who showed me. So I highly recommend subscribing to Bullet Sponge. I'm going to put it on screen right here. Subscribe to his channel. You know, He doesn't make that much content, but he goes so much in depth. It's like not even funny. Like you know my old videos from back in the day from like what's the best training methods and all that bro goes more in depth than i did in those times and I, i'm not willing to go that far but he's willing to go that far so huge props to him to go so in depth in the game if you have any questions he, he likely could answer it he will test it out but um yeah he made a video that i helped i uh, helped him edit um how to glitch certain outfits to well have multiple accessories on it and to kind of have it how it is now so I know you're referring to my previous outfit, not the one in this video. Um, but yeah, I go ahead and give them a, I'll give that video a watch and you'll know how to. Hopefully that helps. Um, I thought God Chamber was being added. I think a couple of people were. I, in a way, I was like half and half about it uh, in this update, the Battle of Gods update. Because I kind of assumed the Bear's Planet was coming, I ain't gonna lie. But you know, it's going in space is, you know, not... It's pretty good too. So... Gun Chamber will be added, I'm pretty deep percent sure, when the Beerus Planet comes out, which probably won't be for a while, in all honesty. So, um, yeah, I mean, I may, I could be wrong, so, I mean. Alright, wait, wait, did, am I saying names? Uh, I forgot to say your name, bro. Chew Peanut. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And for now, that was the last of it. So, um, if you guys have any other questions, leave it down below. I'm going to see, look at the comments, read them, like them. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty chilled out video. Um, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you for so much for watching and uh, catch y'all later.